Okay. Want to show off a little bit of the template I've been working on. Um, this is the place that loops land at, or that I place them at the end. Let me actually change. I'm going to go to B. This is my input center. So it's page B. If I swipe down on input center, it takes me there, this area, input center in the bottom left. If I swipe up on it, I have a little mini loopy pro that I have in as an of three that has little shortcuts to some of the main stuff that I have. There, There's some work to be done here because if I pull it here, it, it doesn't work correctly. I, I have some MIDI work to do. But the idea is to have these little loopy areas. If I swipe up on bus routing, I have this mini bus routing area that I can control the volume of bus A through D. This sends all colors to each of the buses. So all eight of those main colors I'm using get sent with this. And this turns it on. If I swipe up on those, it doesn't work in that one, but on the bottom right in bus routing, if I swipe up on A, these are the effects that I have in bus A. So while it's playing, that'll go. And actually, I'm going to get some music playing. Oops, I swiped up, up on B. Swipe up again, and it closes them. Um, so as I was building the template, I was messing around on my new hand pan that I got. and was able to make some cool sounds. Okay. Now, input center. This is where I made those cool sounds. So I have those. That's a hand pan hit. Let's see if I turn it. It's low. I was running it or I changed the pitch down an octave. So if I swipe up on pitch, I'm going to change the octave back up. That's the actual hand pan notes that I'm hitting with some delay on it. If I swipe down on pitch, I drop that an octave. And it kind of sounds like an acoustic bass in a way, I think, which is kind of cool. So I record into this area now. I can turn on my microphone inputs. That's a mic. I have another mic set up, or sometimes I'll swap that out for kalimbas or an instrument. And then I have effects set up for each of those areas. The volume, gain, the balance, whether it's right, left. Sending this now, if I do that, this sends it to buses and I can turn on buses and have effects coming in and out, stuff like that. So I can control all my input stuff and effects and then I have this little area on the left to mess around and add effects, get sounds that I want. And then I route these out up here. So I have color send up there and I can send red, that then sends it to all colors on page A, and I can route it in over a loop, essentially. So you'll hear, there's that hand pan, the effects are off right now. If I push the effects button, it turns those on. Just some reverb and a low pass. And that's what I routed in to, oops, to this loop there. Oops. You can hear that there. So this just came together for me, the whole routing to colors thing. I was wanting 
I, I put in a feature request for like a send to next free loop on a color with a button to like swipe up and have that loop. Like if I copied it, have it paste to a new color. But I kind of like this method even better because I can add effects, I can create a sound off of a clean record. I can clean record in or just minor effects on the input, but then I can output them to a song that I can create with a bunch of layers. So there's more to it, um, but I wanted to share that part because it just came together for me recently, and I'm excited about it. Thanks, guys. Thank you.